Hello and welcome to the world of solitude. Just flying back from the iron farm where I did my last collab with Racecrafter in the last episode. People might wonder why I do these intros in just my boots. Well, it's because when we started World of Solitude this season, the people in season two, the world got corrupted. So they were allowed to bring a tool and a piece of armor from the previous season with them. And noobs like me were allowed to have surf too. So yeah, these were the god boots. So that's why I always wear them in the intro. And this is going to be the last intro because World of Solitude season three is ending. And World of Solitude is having a little bit of a hiatus as well. So no season four for the foreseeable future. So for this episode, I am going to do a quick kind of tour of everything that I've built and show you a little bit of what other people have built on the server. I had kind of already handed in my notice and then Sweeney decided not to proceed with the server because people are kind of drifted away, which is always a shame, but things have to move on. So yeah, this was my first SMP and I really, really enjoyed playing on here. First time playing survival with other people and that was a really good experience. And I just, oh, I love this base. I am really pleased with how this has all turned out with the Japanese theme. And, um, oh yeah, I've added, oh, trapdoors, missing trapdoors. <laughs> yeah, I've added, I've added some lanterns here for spawning. Um, the other thing, oh, and I, and I have kind of finished this little bit off here so it looks nice from here. Yeah, apologies for my sound as well. I'm hoping it sounds all right. It's just that we are moving house soon and uh, on Thursday, which is like two days away. So everything, all the books and things have gone from the shelves in here. I should be walking on the paths, but I'm not. Yeah, I remember I made this pond completely from scratch. So yeah, the, there's no kind of soundproofing in the room. But next time I will be in my own studio, hopefully, unless I can get, unless I can record in the temporary accommodation. But anyway, less of that. This is the mirror pond. And I think maybe in replay mod, I might, I might show you a sneaky bit at the end of kind of the trickery as to what is behind here, because that's not all finished. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because you can't see it. It's kind of like a stage set. And I have removed all of the trees from here. I was going to remove all of the, the flowers, but it's kind of, that's where the flower forest kind of takes over again. I had originally wanted just to take all of the flowers out, apart from the ones that I had placed. But I decided that was, yeah, what, what's the flower forest without some flowers? But I've added a lot more of the cherry trees around this area, some of the little rock formations and uh, yeah, this bit that I found it, I saw a ravine here and I kind of wanted to keep it as a little, a little um, feature. So I've just kind of fenced it off and put some leaves on there. But yes, I'm hoping this video is not going to be too, too long. I will not ramble, but I did want to show all of the amazing things on the server. It was great collaborating with people. This was my skeleton farm that Racecrafter very kindly built for me. Uh, so it wasn't really a collaboration. We don't really need to, to get the skeletons out. So just doing a fly over of the base here. Oh, I'll show you this area woo, 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 up here because I probably wasn't on this very much in videos, but this was my tree growing area. I started growing some vines here as well. And in the early days, 
before Racecrafter gave me a load of fish. The, these were my farms as well with end rods and yeah, little farms up here. Then coming across to the bridge and the bamboo forest. And then this is the last thing that I have built. Woo. I did a tutorial of the Japanese bridge, but I updated it with the red nether brick. So I have put this in. This was this was very, very long. This was just the end of it. And um, but obviously because the river only spans this much, I've kind of chopped off the other bit so this goes up in a spiral staircase and meets up with Big Edley's path actually I probably shouldn't like go round and round this because a I'm gonna get dizzy B oh I'm missing a <laughs> I'm missing a slab as well um, can I make that yes but actually this is a lovely view over here of the flower farms that was my first collab with Fortis Gnome and I just love the way that the, especially at sunrise, the little silhouettes of these toros and the cherry trees and then going across to the bamboo forest and the stairway that I did with Jackal Wolf. And I love this archway. Should have done something with that. Here we come out and meet up with the path that Big Edley made to the Nomian farming fields. So let's take a walk down here. He did this on stream. I love these big pillars. I might not be able to show you absolutely everything. Oh, I need to get this out because sometimes I think this is a bit dark in here, just in case. But um, yeah, I probably won't be able to show you everything of the World of Solitude. I don't know if Sweeney's going to make a download available for everyone but this this is the farming field that I did with Big Edley we were gonna put another field over there or oh, you can see Jack of Wolf's dam there and then I'm going to whoa, fly on over Hilford Hollow Jackal's dam and I'm not gonna fly any further because <laughs> I've run out of rockets Fortis Gnomes, start of the Gnomian Empire, and then of course the the mountain that I built for him. And oh, let's go and see Donkey. Uh, this is not technically the way to come down to the marketplace, <laughs> but yeah, this was my dye shop. And where's Don? Oh, there's Donkey. Hello, Donkey. I got him right at the beginning from the dark oak forest over there. Then coming on over to the Nomian Empire, it's such a shame that we didn't get these shops finished, but my shops here, I did, I did build a lot. I've got the iron bar here with race crafter. And then the flower shop, which actually doesn't sell flowers, but I, it was just as a filler. And then the bistro, I really love this. Oh, let's have a look inside though. <laughs> I really love this. Up to uh, Flutterby Photography and Adela's Artistry. So here we are, Flutterby Photography, Photographer's Studio here. And then up to this, one of my favorite little builds here with the artist studio. So kind of garret, tall, tall ceiling, odd little kind of shelves and things. Yeah, <laughs> I like this. And then out onto the little balcony here. Woo. And then coming onto the mountain house. It's such a shame that I didn't get this area all finished. Um, I I had had plans to expand it this way, but then when the storyline came about being on the boundary and not not being able to to build here, I went across to the flower farm because I thought that was uh, I thought that was going to be a lovely place to build, and I'm really glad that I did. Let's see how the melon farm and the bone meal farm's going because I've not been here. <gasps> I have not been. Oh wow, that's quite a lot. My first like 
redstone on here. Oh, I've got a cactus farm in here as well. I forgot about that. Oh. Hey, I was uh, I was in with cactus, wasn't I? <laughs> yep, yeah, did quite well, did quite well. Is that Spiral Queen's head? Who? <laughs> I did not know that that was there. That is really weird. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to get, if you want to see the inside of that one, uh, go go and watch the video. <laughs> it was from quite a, a long time ago. So this is Spawn, looking fabulous. This building here, the purple one. I did a collab with Mantis, oh, and I was saying that um, I wanted to do a collab because for a city build because I thought it was like obviously next to the mall and this that Jackal Wolf made. I was feeling quite daunted and I thought, oh, this is a big project. I'm gonna have to have a have a collab. So Mantis and I came up with this, and then a few months later, it shows you how far I've come. Uh, being on the server, oh, that fish looked like it was actually out of the water. Um, I built this one, which is taller and bigger than this one, and I did this one all by myself as well. So I was really pleased with that. <laughs> Big Edley's not so central park, Rosecrafters Bridge, distance, a massive building made by Sweeney. It's yeah, rendering at the top. This is Big Edley's, and then Takia's massive build here and Mantis's steampunk no sorry cyberpunk and then this was oh I'm, I'm probably not doing spoilers and oh it's such a shame it didn't get finished this was a build collab that we did so I think it was Jackal Wolf did the ground floor someone else did the first floor someone else did the second floor someone else did the third floor and then it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be race and then me. And then fairly new be people, Wild and Jacks, they did a build in different places. So that's their city one. And uh, if we come over here, if you remember, I landscaped the back of Spiral Queen's base. So I kind of made it stop floating in that bit. Obviously, playing on a circle with other people, I had intended on doing tours of people's bases, but actually this, apart from this one and races, these are kind of, were the only bases that actually got made and mine, so that would have been quite dif difficult anyway, but this is Terrace's Megadome. It's got fog ponds. <gasps> oh, ooh, he's, he's, he's missed a bit of pods on. Because I have no idea how to get into this apart from by his kind of tunnel shuttle thing. So if I if I fly around here, oh, he's got a big chimney out of it as well. I can I can fly around. But yeah, man, he took loads of streams to build this. It's amazing. Completely mental. <laughs> So then the other base that I would have toured uh, with, oh, actually was very close, was Racer's base. This is amazing. He's not quite finished his wall. Oh, sorry, I've shown up without it quite finished. But yeah, this is just fantastic with, yeah, of course, my cherry trees in it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so much work gone into this. Whoop. And of course, as people know, Race and I do quite a lot of videos together, collabs. So obviously this was the place where we kind of play, started playing together and the um, start of all the collabs. Oh, that's the second time I've got out of a bed that Race has placed and I've hit my head. <laughs>
And starting from the seasonal holiday winter wonderland, Rose and I did a treasure hunt. And this was the end of the treasure hunt. And you went through, just in case, I'm fairly sure it was spawn proof. And da da, Christmas come early. <laughs> oh, a lovely little feast room here, and you've got your Christmas jumper from here. And then where it all began for me, this little spawn house right here. I dug a hole in the side of the mountain and made a mine and then made this house. Oh, take my F3 screen off. <laughs> yeah, I was very pleased with this. This was, uh, this was my kind of modern take on what we could use. There was a dark oak forest over there. So I use, I do like to use the available materials for my first houses. And it has been graced with uh, Spiral Queen made these lanterns all the way along here and they are my design from my video so yeah this was my little humble abode protected by the hbps in here and i've probably still got stuff in here important stuffs yeah well council responses and then the chair to look at the development of this city is quite a different view to what it was when I made the chair. I'll go and have a look at that video as well. And there should be a bed in here. Yep. Yeah. And then this went through just to a little room here and up to my farms in here. But yeah, a different view now because of Terrace's uh, monorail whooshing past so i'm going to end it here where i began round about this spot here on the world of solitude i've had such a good time met such great friends and quite sad that it's over but i needed to kind of move on to new things well no i needed to cut down on the things that i was doing and two smps was just far too much for me so yes, and sad to see the end of the World of Solitude at the minute, but I bet it'll be back at some point in some form. But would love to do any collabs with any of the members in the future. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.